Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be discussing the different types of stars that are in our galaxy, and how we know which one is most common. To help me with this is my assistant, Stephen. Looking out into the heavens, you may ask yourself, what's the most common type of star out there? How would we go about figuring this out? Now you could just count all the stars that you see, figure out their spectral types, but then you need to ask yourself, is my data sample an accurate representation of the stars in our galaxy? Or is there some bias in our data? To demonstrate this, Stephen's going to stay here while I go turn on my car's headlights. From Stephen's perspective, he can easily make out the beams of my car's headlights. They're like the brightest stars in the galaxy. They're easy to see, even when they're far away. Watch what happens now as we pull closer to Stephen. When we look out at the stars, we see a few very cool, very dim M-class main sequence stars, also known as red dwarfs. But we see a lot of very luminous O and B main sequence stars and red giants. Very luminous stars like these are easy to see, even when they're far away, like the headlights on my van. But they are outnumbered by the cool, dim red dwarfs represented by the Christmas lights on the van. The problem is, these dim stars are very hard to see unless they are nearby. This discrepancy between what we see and what actually exists in our galaxy is an example of the selection effect, a bias in our data due to limitations in our observations. If we want to gather an unbiased sample of stars in our galaxy, we need to use a volume-limited survey, restricting ourselves to counting all of the stars in a small local volume of space. When we do this, we find that most of the stars in our galaxy are actually red dwarfs. Oh, my arm! Join us again next time for another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time. Looking up into the heavens, you may ask yourself, What's the most common type of star out there? How can we go about figuring this out? And we're blurry. What? 